Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Bugs, and today we got, we got a little special message from Streamline today. You wanna go ahead? Y'all tired of lagging in multiverses? Yes! I'm tired of losing games because of the bull crap that's going on 24 7. Yes! I'm tired of the desync, the bull crap, the Superman combos, the stupid BS going on 24 7. Yes! Well, guess what? What? Guess what? What? Tell them, Bugs Lee. Are y'all. Are y'all ready to play real multiverses? To get that offline experience a lot of y'all are craving but you can't get because you have no friends IRL that wants to play multiverses or can't come over or no land sessions in your state? Well, fear no more. We have a beautiful place. A beautiful place that where you could play multiverses offline but online. I know that contradicts itself, but that place is called Parsec. Streamline, tell them what Parsec allows us to do. Well, let's start with this. What Parsec basically is, is a place where either player one, the host, or player two can also host, connects to the other PC. Okay? So one person will literally be offline, and the other will be online. Yes, that's the, that's the fact, right? Now, if you get anywhere under 10 ping, it is basically offline. Basically, like you're sitting 20, right next to them, holding their hands, playing together. 20 ms, there's no human that can even feel the difference. 30 Great. ms, there's a slight input delay, but slight. it's not that bad. Once Great. you get above, it gets a little bit unrealistic. Agreed. That's the truth. Okay. Now, why would you do this instead of playing online, which they made for you? Well, first things first, there's no desync at all. Zero Fine. desync. So that means, right? When Bugs Bunny up airs you and it, it hits you before the back comes out. What? Right? Doesn't even pull out his blasters yet and he's blasting you in the <laughs> face. Yeah, I'm saying that's because we're both right here. You know, we're aware. We are aware, we are aware. Of, of the shortcomings. Okay. We know. All right. Two. Any hurt, any hit boxes, hurt boxes, any BS that hits you in Parsec is the way the game is. Right? The reason that's important. Right after all the tips that Tony got, that doesn't mean it stops. It does not mean it stopped. You can still contact Tony. You can still talk to Tony. You can still drop the tweets. They still see it even when the game is down. And it's important, especially through Parsec, because that's the raw game. The raw that's game. That's the raw game. Right. So if Superman hits you behind your back, or if Bugs Bunny down airs you from like three feet above his head, right? That isn't online. That isn't online. That's, that's the game. That's the game. That's the game itself. And that's something you and can still three, report to Tony. Number three is very important. The third reason is very important. All right. The game's already closing, but the game will officially close on June 25th, 2023. So, but here we have to say thank you to Tony for this one. Yes, he sir. left local play open, right? It wasn't for Parsec. It was more for like, right, you can test things with your friends, friends. at home mm -hmm. or the locals so that they can still keep going you know support your locals yes sir support, support your, locals. your locals make sure to support your locals um right this works out perfectly for parsec literally perfectly for parsec so both me and bugs cannot stress enough how important it is to play parsec not only not only because it's the only way but it's because it is a significant way to get far ahead of others and the right way to play multiverses. <laughs> please, God, please, please believe this, guys. Please. If it is one thing, if there's only one thing I can get to you, if, if, the, if the Lord above or Allah can hear me, please believe me when I tell you it is the right way to play this game. It is the right way. The way to download Parsec is you want to go to that beautiful browser that you have. doesn't matter which one you have. And you want to type in Google and do Parsec. Once you do that, you want to go on their website. Once you go on their website, you want to hit Try Parsec. Or just hit the download button straight away. Download the um, Windows and stuff. Since I already have it downloaded, you already know how it's going to look. I'm going to redownload just for you. It's going to pop up here. It's going to download to your system. And then it's going to pop up on your, dis um, your desktop. Once you do that, you're going to open it up. 
and now you have Parsec. And all you got to do, this little friend tag that you have, send this to your friends, and now you're able to play Parsec with all your friends. But wait, some people, PCs are different. Some people has issues with their PCs. So we're going to be showing you the best settings and possible other best settings for other players to, you know, use while playing Parsec. Want to go ahead and streamline and show them the best way how to play the game? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tune into this. Okay, so the first things first, right? In the settings options right here in the corner, you're going to want to take a look right here. What you got? Right, so a couple of these things are going to be on. There's really no biggie, right? Overlay, overlay warning, swap, swap command, control, all that funny business, window mode. Highly recommend full screen, right? Now, if your PC is bad, you might want to go windowed. Might have to. Because you could get screen tears. There could be other problems. Delay. Okay. Not delay. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> FPS, like, FPS lag, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. guys. You get what we're saying here. All right, V-Sync. Okay, some computers need it. Some don't. Depends. Really depends. It's 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 really just like you know like depending on the PC. PC yep. Or if you got an old PC, even it could be because it's old. It could yep. be amazing, but since it's old, it's not gonna function well, right? So do your testing um, on these things. Now, any of this other stuff, it's not really that big a deal. Um, if you got a good PC, you could turn on 10-bit color, which just makes it look more amazing. Appealing. Yep. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is. And then you just you just literally read this, follow what it says, turn things on, off. Really, mostly yep. the stuff right here. All right, now for the important stuff. Yeah, this important, is stuff. important stuff. Yes, sir. Right. Most of the important stuff is right here in host. It's yep. right here. And before it's we here. and before Streamline gets into those details, do not be afraid to test different hosts. Even if you want to experience that offline, maybe it's better for one of your friends to host because their PC is better and you can connect to them better. Just try to find which way feels the best for both of the players, not just one player, because that's how you get the best experience playing this offline. Slash online. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, first things first. First important thing. This right here. All right. I recommend you could use your client resolution, right? Now, if that doesn't work out or for some reason it's, like, too much for them, you mm -hmm. can turn it under their resolution. So you could ask them what's your resolution, right? They tell you. You go under it. That should make it better for them. Second thing, bandwidth limit. Okay, now I'm gonna put these in the categories. Okay. <laughs> if your PC is a fart box, all right, you're putting it at three. I don't want to hear it. You're putting it at you're three. At three. Okay. It might look bad, yeah. but you won't have no input delay. And again, you're gonna get that experience. It's gonna look terrible, but at least you can play the game. All right. If you have like a shoot, I want to say like 1080 and up for like graphics cards wise, right? You can take it to 10. You can take it to 10. That's perfectly fine. Now, once you get a little higher than that, it can get a little crazy, all right? Like, once you get to 20, you need to get it, – it's sort of you – know, you know the way you could scale this, right? For like, if you got a 1080, you stay in the 10s. In the 10s. <laughs> if, you get a, if you get like a 2010, 2080, 2070, something like that, stay in the 20s, right? And then once you get to like the 30s, then it scales upwards, right? Yep. Once you get to like a 3080 or something like that, you can literally drop all the way up to 50. Yep, and All also, also bandwidth does matter. That is based off your connection too. So again, do the testing for yourself. Don't just go based off our words and just say, yeah, well, they said do this. Nah, do your testing. See what is your limit for your PC that you can actually enjoy the game where there's no delay and you still have a great time playing with that person. Very important. Uh, that is like, can't stress it enough. Please, guys, Ethernet. Ethernet, is very Ethernet please. <laughs> Ethernet, please. All right, now, FPS. I recommend 144. Yep, uh, 144 is the most you got to do. I do 240, just literally, like, worthless. Yeah. Honest to God, I can just leave it <laughs> on 144 if I wanted to. It's just like, what do you call that thing where it's like... It's, it's like a mental thing in your head. Yeah, it's like... like a mental thing in my head. It's like, I want the biggest number, guys. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> right. So, right, you could put it 60, like, let me give an example, right? I spark key wonder sometimes, right? We, I, I used to have it on 60, it wouldn't work. I would screen tear every time I joined his host. And then all I did was tell him to go 144... There Done. you go. That's the testing Crit. we're talking about. You have to do the testing Crit. to see what's the best experience for y'all. So, you know, you can mess with it. You go 60, 100, 120, 144, 240. For me, 144 has always worked. Every time. Like a charm. All right. Now, next up, we're going to go over to audio. Okay. So, right. Again, first things first, 
some things are not fixable. It's because of the computer. There's mm-hmm. not much you can do other than get new parts. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can do that. So you need to understand that at first. The audio was going to sound sort of like, to give you an idea, it's like you're talking like through a bottle, right? You know, it's sort of, it's like a little muffled, right? That's normal, right? A lot of the times it's going to be like that. The closer you get to someone, the better the audio normally gets. Yeah. Um, uh, just try to leave it to your default. That's what I have it on. I just have it on this for fun. Honest to God, just so I don't get worried about anything. Um, important next up is echo canceling. The reason you want this is because let's say you're in a Discord call with them. Yeah, you would or hear them. anything else, you would literally just hear them. You would just hear them. It'd be really annoying. So set echo canceling to new and then choose whatever you're using to, to like talk to them, whether it's well Skype, Skype Zoom, Discord, Microsoft, Zoom. Teams, yep. Slack, Discord, right? You set it to that. That's what you would use. I mean, preferably, it's probably going to mostly be Discord. Because yep. yeah, that's like the popular thing around for gamers. But like, that's usually what we got. Um, other than that, make sure you have your quality to lowest latency so that you can... The lowest yeah. input delay. The, the, the main reason delay. why Parsec is a little iffy is the input delay. And again, the closer you are and all that stuff, gives you the best experience to where it feels like you're literally playing with him next door. Like literally holding his hand, sharing a controller. <laughs> All right. Something important, though. If and only if you have godlike PC. Only if. Do not ever set it to highest quality, but balanced is never bad. Yeah, never balanced bad. Is never bad. That means you can see what the hell is going on. <laughs> and you can get good input delay. Right? But that is only if you have a good PC. As you can see right here, it is best used on modern and high-end CPUs. Yep. Or that says GPUs, GPUs. but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, guys. Come on, bear with me. Okay. So next up, this is the Network. another important yeah. one. This one can help a lot with your audio. With the okay? audio issues we were talking you remember, about. You remember what I said about like talking through like it through it through a cup, right? Once you press uncompressed, it goes from talking through a cup like this, and it clears it out a little bit. And it makes it a little easier for you to hear what's going on, right? Because I know sound does matter a lot for some people. You know, if you do have sound problems, it's best to just deal with it, adapt. You know, like, you literally won't be able to play with anyone otherwise. You have to understand that. Yeah, like, so... The game closes. Yeah, so if compressed doesn't feel good, then do uncompressed and see... Again, it's all about testing. It's all about seeing what experience and what settings work for you. <clears throat> At the end of the day, it, it, it's going to change, like, you know, for everybody. Like, some things will work, some won't work. Okay, so now I'm going to pass this on to Bugsby so we can show you guys who have no friends exactly where to go. Yeah, before we get into talking about where you can find players, my console people, unfortunately, Xbox players, you actually just have no type of features that, you know, has a sheer play or anything. And I'm very unfortunate that, yeah, we'll have to wait until 2024 to play multiverses. And I really do feel, you know, saddened about that. But for my console play, oh, sorry, not only console play, for my PlayStation players, PS4, PS5, you do have remote play. Obviously, it isn't the best, but it's better than nothing. So I'm pretty sure all y'all know how that works out. If y'all don't know how it works out, I could do, you know, I'm going to throw like a quick video showing y'all away, a link in the description also. But yeah. <clears throat> now for my PC players, my Steam players, my Epic Game players, y'all are probably wondering, damn, I have no friends to play this game with. At my house. I have no friends to play with this game. Parsec. Cool idea bugs, but... Cool ideas bugs and streamline, but... I have no one to play with. Well, don't need to fear. Because why? We have something called the Multiverses Pro Code. That's been here since... Back in the closed beta days. Where we've been piling up um, players and members. As you can see, we're at 5,000 player count. Yes, that's 5,000. Obviously, a lot of them isn't that active anymore. You know, due to, you know... Interest of the game. Not interest in the game. And the issues that the game did have. But... Hopefully this video gets out to a lot of people and people see this again and want to give the parts like a try, especially to experience that offline multiverse because that's another thing a lot of people didn't experience. And I promise you, once you experience that offline experience, your eyes are going to be reopened and you're going to understand why me, Streamline, Key, and many other players still have faith in this game for their release of 2024. Because if offline, when you play it, feels like how it is online, oh my god, you're going to be like, this is a whole brand new game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started, bro. Twenty twenty four is going to be crazy. Yes, sir. Twenty twenty four is going to be crazy, dude. So when you join the court, I'm pretty sure you just have to find your roles. You know what region you are and stuff. But once you go in, we're gonna have something called Parsec, where when you join it, um, 
it's going to have its rows where it's going to be northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. And the reason why, as you know, Streamline already told you, this thing is very connection dependent. If you are under 30 MS when you log into someone's PC, it is playable, it's enjoyable, and it is play to win, as in you have a chance to win. Now, anything over 30 MS, if you're casually just wanting to play with your friends, then go right ahead, you know. But if you're playing to try to get better or playing to learn, you're going to really have a difficult time enjoying it. And that is why we're going to try to cut down where you should play, you know, give you like a recommendation of who you should play in that genre so you have the best experience. And don't worry, I know my other regions probably saying, but but what about us? Don't worry, I got you EU. Don't worry, I got you, got you all these other regions that we have in this game. I'm going to cut it as much as I can, and then I'm going to hit up those players that play EU and all that stuff and say how I should cut it up. And like, oh, if you're in this locations, then you should play in this side. If you're in this location, you should play with these players, and etc. Trust me. We're going to make these strangers become your friends. So in 2024, you have a little pool of people to play with when the game comes back. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to end it off with Streamline, pretty much summarizing. Also, there's two things me and Streamline forgot to add for you guys. Don't worry, you keyboard players. Multiverses does support multiple keyboards now, and Parsec has that ability to allow you to use a controller, keyboard, and keyboard and mouse. So, you know, if they're a keyboard player, then do that. If they're a keyboard and mouse player, do that. And for some reason, if they're just a mouse player, do that, you know? Uh, and But also, they are allowed into your PC. This is pretty much allowing someone to be on your PC and, you know, stranger danger and all that stuff. But don't worry, because if you go to the settings and you go to approve apps, this will allow them to only see the apps that you allow them to see. So for example, if you have it on, you put multiverses, the only time they could push buttons and do stuff is in multiverses. Once your PC gets off of it, it'll, a screen will pop up, will say, hold on, the host is doing something and they're not allowed to do anything, nothing will work. From the start, right? Connection. That is the number one reason why we want to give you this opportunity, right? Not even an opportunity, everyone can do this. We're showing you the light. We are literally showing you the light, okay? This is real multiverses because it is Right, it's not offline, but you're playing the game locally, so you you are literally playing the game offline. If that makes sense, guys. Okay, we know the reasons why the game's closing. It's real multiverses, and also no more desync BS. None oh, of that boy. crap. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. We know how to download Parsec using that link, using the login, yes, sir. fixing the settings. You already know that stuff. Okay, don't forget to join Multiverses Pro. It is not the end just because. Some game, some people haven't shown up does not mean the server is not active. It is very much so active very. even now. <laughs> even, even now. now right? <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, the important thing is to make friends and get ready for 2024. Rise of Multiverses. Rise 2024 of multiverses. is real. It is here. We're going to get new characters. We're going to get new content. We're going to get new everything. We're going to get guilds. We're going to get it all. It's all going to be there in 2024 multiverses baby yes, any sir. last words yeah man just why wait until 2024 when you can still play the game now prep up for the release of 2024 and yeah man hopefully i get to yeah i give this you know this part second opportunity because i promise you it's going to change your mind and you're finally going to be playing real multiverses see y'all in the discord see y'all in 2024 guys peace oh! Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out